Hey Yali Hoppa, welcome to sunny Stockholm. Now in our coffee break travel series, I have visited Pierre Benoit in Pornic. Uh, we've spent some time with Julia in Potsdam and Marina in Malaga and in Salamanca. We visited Francesca in Petinengo. And now it's time to visit our coffee break Swedish host, Hanna, in her hometown of Vaxholm. Now Vaxholm is uh, an island. We need to get there by ferry. So we're going to get on the ferry now and you can come along. Skavi Berja, Lotos Berja. I'm delighted to be here. Would I say in Vaxholm or on Vaxholm? Both. So we are in Vaxholm just now, but we are on Vaxön. Okay, so in Vaxholm, the, in the town, yeah. but på Vaxön, on the yeah, island of Vaxön. Because we are on, on an island. Okay, right. Prepositions um, this early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and, and we do it well. So, um, But I thought today we would have a look at the map. Mm -hmm. And then I would show you the sites of Vaxholm. So it's an old military um, town. Mm -hmm. uh, it was built to protect Vaxholm. So we have a fortress over here. Okay. Um, and yeah, we just have a stroll about. They looked it fantastic. Yeah. So, so here you have a map of Vaxholm, and this is about half of Vaxholm. The rest is residential housing and woods and beaches. But what I thought we would do today is that we are we gonna walk around um, in the city centre, in central Vaxholm. We are here at the moment. There are hotels. Here we have the um, hamnen, so the harbours. Uh, where you can go on the car ferry, so uh, Bilfärjan, have a Vaxons båten. Here's the fortress on its own island, and we can take a boat dit also. And here's the batteriet. That's where they used to have the cannons to protect Vaxon and Stockholm. Uh, we have a stroll up there, uh, and I thought we would go to Hembygdsgårds museumet, where they have a nice cafe and we go for a nice fika as we do in Sweden. So now we are on Rådhus Torget. So the town hall square. Yes, <laughs> you've been practicing your Swedish. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, this is the old town, town hall. Um, mm -hmm. But nowadays it's a tourist office, so I thought we could have a walk in, in and see what they suggest for us. And you can practice your Swedish. Sounds like a good yeah? idea. Okay. okay. Hey, what do you think we should do with Vaxholm? What can we do with Vaxholm? Now we're in Rådhus, in the tourist bureau. Här har vi centrala delen av Vaxholm och fästningen. Så huvudattraktionen i Vaxholm är ju fästningen. Nu går det inte linfärjan dagligen, den går helger. Så då får man ta Vaxholmsbolagets båtar på vardagar över. Så går det ungefär en gång i timmen. Där ute har vi museet, konstgallerier, en bistro. Men museet och bistron är öppen på helger bara nu. Okej. Okay. Eh, vill man gå ner till gamla delen av Vaxholm så har vi ju Norrhamnen, gammal fiskehamn eh, där fiskarfamiljerna bodde. På den här sidan så har vi Café Hembygdsgården som är ett trädgårdscafé vid vattnet. På den sidan här så kan man gå ner i Kronlandsgränd och gå runt den här batteriparken där det är 
gamla spår och lämningar efter kanoner som hjälpte till att försvara fästningen. Okay. Runt hamnen här har vi restauranger och butiker. Sen kan man ju välja att gå strömmingsrundan runt en som är ungefär 10 km lång om man går hela. Vaxholms kyrka byggdes på 1600-talet. Öppet dagligen under sommaren. Okej, okay. tack så mycket. Ja. Tack. Får jag ta korten? Varsågod. Tack så mycket. Hanna, Vaxholm så so far seems quite quiet. Because it's midweek and uh -huh. it's mid-August. So Is that not the summer? Not in Sweden. Okay. So <laughs> June, July, very, very busy. Um, but by, by this time, people have gone back to holi uh, from their holidays mm -hmm. and school's starting this week. So okay. it's much more quiet. And uh, in the winter, does it get really quiet or are there still things happening in, in Vaxholm? Well, a lot of people live here all year round. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's still a town but much more quiet, but you can still, we, for example, have a Christmas market. People come to have Yule board okay. at the hotel and the, the fortress and things like that. And the, the boat still runs. So you can still go on your archipelago trips all okay. year round. Great. Är vi just nu? Nu är vi i batteriparken. So battery park, the battery park. Ja, yeah. so this is the old battery. When we um, walked here, we walked over some big hills and cannons. Uh -huh. um, not used anymore, good, good. believe it or not. <laughs> um, and now it's just a lovely park for people to holiday in and people go swimming and picnic and, and so on. Um, yeah. Perhaps this is the perfect time to do some practicing of of pastimes in, in Swedish. Yeah. So, am I right in thinking we use the phrase ja tycker om at plus an, an infinitive plus a verb? Ja, precis. So how would we say I like going swimming? Så jag tycker om att bada. Ja, tycker om att bada. Yes, because okay. if we say simma, that is mostly like swimming as a sport, if you remember. Ah, we, right, so simma uh, and bada. Yeah. Okay, uh, what about, what else could we do? I like sailing. Jag tycker om att segla. Jag tycker om att segla. Ja, jag är med, Mark. <laughs> uh, jag tycker om att sola. Att uh, sola is the sun. Yes. So I like sunbathing? Yes, Jag tycker precis. om att sola, ja. okay. <laughs> Uh, jag tycker om att semestra. I like to have my holidays. I like to go my holidays. Yeah, yeah. holidaying. <laughs> yes, exactly. What about, and I wonder if this is time for this now. Jag tycker om att fika. <laughs> ja, nej. <laughs> ja, bra. Jag älskar kaffe. <laughs> so, I like going for a coffee and that sounds like a good thing to do now. Yes, let's do that. So this is where I ta always take foreign visitors um, because you, you see, it's a lot of cake. So you have uh, rulltårta, we have kärleksmums, we have kladdkaka and the most important thing of all, we have kanelbullar or kardemummabullar. Depending what you what you want, we have chokladbollar, eh, massariner, mandelkub, mer kladdkaka. So the question is, vad vad ska jag äta? Vad vill ni ha? Och en kaffe, tack. En kaffe? Ja. Absolut. Var det bra så? Ja, det var det. Ja, då betalar jag med kort. Du kan blippa den själv. Ja, tack. Så har du kaffe och bestick runt hörnet. Okej. Okay. Okay. Vill du ha kvitto? Eh, ja, tack. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket, jag hoppas det smakar. Ja, så. Oh. 
Jaha, vad har vi här? <laughs> ja, så vi har kaffe, ja. eh, kanelbulle ja. och en bakelse. Bakelse? Ja. So, some uh, kind of cake? <laughs> yeah, like a, pa- a pastry. A pastry, a pastry. Yes. okay. Um, och ett, vatten. Vatten, kolsyrat ja. vatten. Kolsyrat vatten för mig ja. och kaffe för Var, dig. För jag är svensk. <laughs> Var, eh, bakelsen. bakelsen var jättegod. Hur smakade din kanelbulle? Mm, jag tror det var den bästa kanelbullen eh, som jag någonsin har ätit. Ah, jag blir både glad för att du tyckte om kanelbullen ja. och din svenska. Så du, må, du får alltid komma till Vaxholm och äta kanelbullar. Ja, yeah, definitely, definitely from the Vaxholm uh, kanelbullar. Fantastic, ja. Yeah. Uh, I'm so impressed by your Swedish, though. Well, I obviously have a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, everything I have learned, I have learned from Coffee Break Swedish and some songs and some books and some films and some TV shows, I have to, have to, have to admit. But basically, Coffee Break Swedish season one will help you practice this kind of language. Um, it's, it's all about sort of transactional language and the kind of language that you, you would use on a, on a trip to Sweden wherever you happen to, to, to travel to. And it's been useful now, hasn't it? <laughs> it has indeed, yeah. yeah. I've been using lots of it over the past few days as I've been traveling around here, but it's great to get the opportunity to put it into practice. Yeah. There's one thing I remember, and I'm wondering if you're going to be um, taking advantage of this Swedish um, custom, I guess, and that's the potor. <laughs> yes, I, I need a potor now. <laughs> so the potor is the free refill of your coffee. Um, so are you going to get one? Yes, I, let's, let's have a, a little bit more coffee, <laughs> okay? okay? So this is Vaxholm Kyrka, uh, is the church of Vaxholm and as Vaxholm was a military town um, and set up to protect Stockholm, uh, all the buildings had to be uh, built in wood in Vaxholm originally. That was so they could just burn it down uh, if it got invaded. The only um, building in, in Vaxholm uh, that is in stone, uh, was in stone originally, is the church. As you can see, that's the bell tower, and the bell tower you could burn down as well. It's lovely and it's all named after different areas in the around Vaxholm and this is mine with milk chocolate with salty licorice mjölkoklad med salt lakris and you know I love salt lakris salt lakris is the best this is uh, Vaxholms Castell so this is the reason why Vaxholm exists and it was um, initiated by Gustav Vasa, which I probably have spoken all, uh, about on the podcast. I love to speak about Gustav Vasa. Gustav Vasa is our equivalent of Henry VIII. And, um, but he started it uh, to protect Stockholm against the invaders. Um, but it took such a long time to build. So by the time it was uh, finished, it was not modern anymore. It was not able, they were not able to use it. So here it is looking lovely. It's got a nice food, <laughs> it's a bistro. <laughs> uh, and um, it's been used in different ways as well, but not exactly to um, protect stock. So my trip to Vaxholm is coming to an end. Nästan. Nästan? Varför det? Men jag ska bjuda dig på glass. Oh yeah. Um, so Hannah's going to treat me to an ice cream. En 
en lakridsglass. Salt lakridsglass. I, I knew that this was coming. Salt lakridsglass. So I'm going to have a, a salty licorice ice cream. Yes, you're going to love it. Okay, here goes. So this is my very first taste of salt licorice ice cream. Yeah. Here goes. Mm -hmm. That's actually really nice. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, really nice. Really? Ah. So there we go. It's been lovely spending some time with you here on Vaxholm. We hope that you've enjoyed visiting Vaxholm with us and uh, we will see you again soon in yeah. Scotland or Absolutely. in Sweden, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see.